the fire of dawn. I can remember the things that you have told me about you. You wanted me to go to school. You gave up many things for me. You lived with crazy people that were unhappy. You did this so that I could know my father, and I became like the jungle man upstairs that you feared. And you have fixed my broken back, and I became him even though you did the, your best for me. I should never have joined the tribe. The Lord of the Flies ate my soul, and now I'm forced to rebuild it. Or take on again with that pack. They are like snakes and wolves combined. They slither and leap and poison and tear. And there is no escape without the intervention of the people of our house. The houses of Arnold and Bradley rest quietly on the block of what is called madness by the city. John wrote in Revelation 2,000 years ago in chapter 17, verses 15 through 18. The waters you saw on which the prostitute sits are nations, peoples, races, and languages. The ten horns that you saw and the beast will hate the prostitute. They will take away everything she has and leave her naked. They will eat her flesh and destroy her with fire. For God has placed in their hearts the will to carry out his purpose. By acting together and giving to the beasts their power to rule <coughs> until God's words come truth. The woman that you saw is the great woman that rules over the kings of earth. Mother, I have given you the ten horns of the beast, and you have crushed them all. As though to set your foot upon the eggshell backs of dead sea urchins, you and your kin are mighty. My name will be a killing word. I will crush the city when its vision fails to show truth. The woman with the cup filled with blood has stolen from me, and I will not drink of her spittle again. Let her dry up and die of dehydration. There is no wine for her left in the bottle, for she has too many times choked off my breath with her vile tongue. She used me to survive and succeed, and I have failed. I have fallen like an Asimov robot who has misinterpreted its simple instructions. Mother, you dressed me for the snow and rain and kept me from the roads to protect me because your baby brother Paul died in his sleep. How can I forget this? You have done me no wrong. It is the television that I will sm smash. It is the television, and it's blind, naked vixens, and it's blind, naked dead men, whose skin will be torn apart by my white fire. A leopard fails to, to believe. I have been given this mark of the athlete on my foot to remind me that I am a destroyer. If I am forced to destroy for God, then my name is already a killing word. And my name is of my house, a house that is strong. And my house is held up by my mother, who has fostered my need. She has sent me out to be crushed by the city and her whims, so that I will learn. She has brought me back with the books of his word, <coughs> and born another child before crossing over the mountain, that I must now teach. And I will save him someday. As others have saved me by teaching me to be innocent. I will rip the enemies of my house and my brother's house and my children's houses to bloody shreds. With my bladed fingers and the point of my pen. I will destroy their clans of dark power. With my understanding that they are evil. You who see this and do not, that do not deserve. Will not question the words that I write. Anyone who does this is my enemy. You will not question the words that I speak. Anyone who does this will be burned and will not survive. You are all the children of God, the only God. You should follow your leaders to him. If not, it has already been written that you will die. 
Your fate has been determined by the strength of my mother's pain and my brother's hand. My father has given me science. Has yours? Do you not then have something to demand of your father? Show me the pain of your house, and I will say that you are strong. But not until then. You will not forget my mother's name. Then when the sun rises, <coughs> those of you that are with my house and have sought out your, your true father and succeeded will see my vision. For those of you who would question my words, even after the warnings given in the, the only book of God, her name will be written beyond your pathetic reality. Her name will be written in the sky with rays, through the ashes of the unfaithful, and by the Lord she will be called Dawn.